This is going to go here eventually, right there. Okay. Uh, okay. So what do I got to do? I got to pull that black one over and down. I got to tighten that one up. Is that one that I can do right from here? Probably not. This one's in here. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that was a wonderful thing. Okay. This one, oh, that's the cable, okay. This one goes where? Oh, I gotta put a connector on this one. Uh, connector, connector. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this up here for now. So I, oh, it's not gonna stay there. Uh, maybe it will. All right, and that's this one. So this one, is that one. Once I put a connector on that, I can put an antenna up, if I need an antenna, that is. <laughs> and then, uh, what's this thing? It's a piece of coax, but what is it? The numbers are all written off it. I'll have to check it inside. Okay. Uh, so anyway, um, I gotta get a pair of pliers and uh, get that down and possibly a pair of wire cutters okay let's go in here and see if i can get it well let's take the drill in the hammer and there was a, plate, a putty knife put putty knife So I'm going to take with me, and I should have, is this it? That's not it. Here it is. Yeah, okay. This one. Uh, well, let me see what I need, because i got to put an end on it to put it back up. i got to figure out that damn round, too. Up the ladder we go. Up, 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 and up, up, up. Okay, so this is the one that I have to undo. Okay. this in here so I don't lose it. Let's bring this about here I guess. And cut it off. Cut it off. Yeah. Alright. I'll get rid of that piece. Okie dokie. Now I have another piece here. Well, you know what I can do too? I didn't think about it. I wonder if I can get that other antenna down. I mean, if I'm working on them today, I guess I'll work on them. It's too late, I guess, to really start cutting wood and chopping. Darlene's laying down anyway. The boys, for some reason, apparently woke her up around six o'clock. And when she was working, she was used to that. But uh, it's been 20 years. Uh, I mean, she's used to like 7.30 and things, so. But, uh, 
Okay, now I need to get an eyelid. Or a hook, or whatever it is you want to call it. Uh, I'd like to get a small eye with a wire big enough. Oh, what's this one? No, that hole's too big. See, I want that size. I want a small hole, like uh, one of these. I think of this one. You know, let's use the copper. Yeah. Okay. I think this is going to do the trick. Before I put it on, I'll whoop the ladder. Whoop the ladder. And make sure that this fits the post. And I think it does because the nut, the wing nut that I just took off is small. I mean, so if it's that size, we're okay. See, here's the wing nut, and there's that. So that's gonna fit. Okay. Now, where's the wire? There it is. And let me get the crimper. The crimper. I forgot the crimper. How many times am I gonna walk back and forth, forth and back? See, if I gotta work on the tractor, for instance, all I gotta do is open those doors like that, because they'll both open. Move these. Uh, I can either move this back or just put the blade up, and that'll get the front end in right about where I need it to be. If I want to move the couch, I can come in further. Uh, if I put the couch that way, which would probably be best, move those, turn the couch that way, just for now. And if I can, I'll bring the tractor in right up to here. So, all right, but anyway, let me get the crimper. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering now if I want to, uh, hmm, hmm, what am I wondering? I'm wondering, oh, I want to see something, that's what I was wondering. I want to see. I see this spool of wire down here, and I don't remember what it is. I think it's, uh, oh, okay, this is a four-lead power line. Okay. It's good to know. <laughs> it really is. You know how many times I've been looking for that for a four-lead power and couldn't find it. Now, there's another hunk of wire. Oh, there it is. Okay. That'll be... Uh, next year's job. Okay, so I got the crimper. What else? Oh, I want a big ass pair of vice grips if I have them. Or should I just take the torch out there and maybe I should do that. Just take the torch out there. It's, I don't know. It's, I need something I can have a lot of leverage on because I really want to be able to clamp it down. Let me try these just for the hell of it. All right, but I am going to take the solder and the torch out there. So I'm going to take this, this, and I'm going to take this little torch out there because it gives me more of a pinpoint. Uh, let me make sure we have. Uh, Gas in it. Butane. crimp it and then I'm going to try to put some solder in it. Uh, start 
get a little chilly. If it is, it is. I'll get that ready. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Put these here. Up on gold, doesn't it? Oh, that's good, thank you. I know. There we go. That's the only thing I don't like about this. It's aluminum. Copper definitely works much better. So let's put this right there. I forgot that I bought more of these. When I put the other one on, I didn't have the one to fit this wire. So I had to crimp it, bang it, crimp it, bang it. And it just wasn't where I was happy with it. No, I really don't need these, but let's try it. Tighter, tighter, tighter. Tighter, tighter, tighter. Okay. Now we'll put a little new in there. And uh, what can I do with this so it'll stay someplace for me to work with? And yeah, that'll probably be okay. Go up a notch. Ah, it's a little windy up here. I want this to be downward. I don't want it to be up. I want the solder to run in it and not out of it. Yeah, good deal. You guys are probably not seeing anything that I'm doing here. There, okay. I wanted to fill up that little bit of gap. The gap. Okay, I know we'll let it cool for a second because I don't want to put it up there and lose the solder. I just stuck in. Ooh, I don't want to lose it. I just stuck it in. Close, come on, you guys. Yes. Good deal. Oh. Take this. Get that right there. So I can get this nice and nice. I gotta go in the house later and do a... Now what the hell am I dropping? Oh, okay. These go here. This goes in the back. This gets picked up. Brushed off. Stuck in here. This goes here. 
this go over here. Put that there, and it's the same as they are. So they go in here. It's going in here. Whoop. Let's see what time it is. Uh, uh, 13, uh, 1500, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, now, what did I want, I'm going to go out there and spray that, that's what I want, uh, I don't know what I want to use, I'm just going to use this, oop, 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 well, wait a minute. This is a lubricant. So is this. One is a silicone base. The other one isn't. <sighs> Anti-wear. Yeah, well, I, industrial. Yeah, let's go with this one. This one. This is where I like to have some of that rub, uh, that red can of um, brush check. See that thing that I just put on up here is actually the antenna connector. So I want to make sure that that's going to be nicey nicey on both sides because the other one is a ground wire. Okay. I could use uh, Okay, now what am I doing? Put the can down. There we go. Thank you. Spray that. This is that. That's this. Alright. I'm just going to spray all of it for now, screw it. I don't know how long I'm going to be in and out of here for the winter or not. Or I never know. Uh, yeah, there is such a thing as too much, but at this point, I'm not going to concern myself with it. Uh, so that's done up there. This is just got to be tied to something. This is a rope that I use with a pulley and a clothesline tightener, for those of you who remember them, uh, to keep that antenna tight that I just put there and to keep the stress off of the tuner, which is there. So I don't need anything really to tie this to other than to hold it so it's not flopping around. Um, that flop. Let me put this over here for now. There, this has to hang there. All right. Now some of these are going to get changed out. For instance, this one. One of them has that one right there. There it is. That one. Yeah, see so one of these has two of these connectors on them. And again, they're not all that bad, but you got to worry about uh, the more that you have, the more that they can get invaded with the weather and corrode, and they will do so. You know, just by the moisture getting in and out of it, uh, can screw it up on you and turn it covers. All right, now let's go back inside for a minute, because I need a drink of water. Then I want to take a quick walk just into the yard, not all the way across it. Because I want to check that pipe to see, and not the pipe, the antenna that's hanging in that tree to see if it is uh, hanging enough to where I might be able to grab onto it with a rope, heave a line over it, and pull it down.
Now, see, this is the V-vent. So it comes from here all the way out. So it should work. It's out far enough to where it should do something. If it doesn't, then it's got to be, we're starving for fuel. Okay. All right, let me go out there for a minute. Let me put on a jacket because it's starting to get cold. It's getting chilly. Do I want to put this on? Or this? Nah, I'll put this on. I need to bring out one of my flannel shirts. Something just a little heavier than what I have on, but lighter than what I can put on. So if I just got to go out there for a second, I can. You're hiding it now, aren't you? I told the wife, don't bother registering this one the next time around. I'm just going to use this as a yard trailer or to go across the street, you know, uh, use it with the tractor. Uh, so it's not worth registering it for that. However, that one over there I want to register, the big one. 